Hi everyone, welcome back to Project Reactor Essentials and in this video we are going to talk about two operators the concat and then concat with well, three concat with and concat they are almost the same and then combine latest so for that let's uh, just create here a new method this method uh, can be pretty simple just test public void concat operator and then we can start creating two fluxes first one is just uh, a b a and b and the second one will be c and d and you assign some variables you can call this one flux one and this one you can call it uh, flux two Okay, so what the concat will do is just merge both fluxes. So they will merge sequentially subscribing to the first source and then it will wait for it to complete before subscribing to the next. And so until the last source completes. We can see this example by either um, creating a new flux here or as we are going to see with concat with, concatenating one with another. So I will just use flux.concat, I will tell flux1 and then uh, flux2. And then uh, if you want you can log the information and let's create here uh, concat flux. And we can create here step per fire. And then create concat flux. And then expect subscription. And then expect next. And you can give the values here A, B, C, and D. Okay, so now that we have this, just verify and run the test. And I ran the wrong one. There you go. So you can see. A, B, and then C and D. Now, if you don't want to create a new flux, you can copy this one. Concat with operator. It's almost the same thing. Instead, you can, from flux1, tell it to concat with flux2. And now, you can call it the concat flux as well. Let's execute this method. And as you can see, we have exactly the same result. And now the last operator for this video, let's copy this one. It will be the combine last. So what this combine last is going to do? It's going to combine the last operator from the first flux to the operator that it's the, the last one from the second flux. So it can be a bit confusing because there is no guarantee that you are going to merge, for example. Let's say that it publishes A and suddenly the flux 2 publishes C. So technically it would be AC. But if the first flux is way faster than the second one, what happens is that we will get something like BC and then BD. So let's see this, uh, this, this behavior. Here, let's just remove this and let's create a flux called flux.combine latest. I uh, say less here, latest. So what the combined latest is going to do here, it's going to get the flux 1, it's going to get the flux 2, and then something that I would like to do, this B function or by function, I will just get the first string, the second string, and I will just return S1.2 uppercase plus S2.2 uppercase. And if you are willing to see the logs, you know what to do. Dot log. 
Okay, so let's check the documentation for this one. So as you can see, we have here A from Flux1B being published. And then we have this uh, second Flux with number 1. So we are telling here combine latest, the square and the circle. And you can see here the result. So this is the resulting Flux AB. So the A is completely uh, bypassed here because it's going to merge concat the B with 1 and then you will get B1. So it's the same here. You have C and then you have D and you can see this finishes but then we have D2. So it always get the latest it goes here. So it always get the latest value. So you can see that A1 here, we don't have uh, anything to merge with, to, to concat with. That's why A1 is not here in this string. And then we have uh, B. But then on the second one, when this is released, we have this being published. We have the, the B. So it will get the B and 1. And then it will emit this B1. And then we will have C. And we have something on the second one, so C1, D1, and then you will see that it finishes, but then the second one will emit number two, and we have the latest one from the first, that's D2. So this, there is no guarantee that the behavior will be always one to one or two to one. It depends how fast they are being published. Here, I believe that we can do, it's quite difficult to do this test because so we cannot guarantee the results, but I think based on how fast this will be, I believe it will be B, C, and then B, D. Let's check. Okay, so it was a, uh, oops, wrong test. So I got B, C, and B, D. But uh, this is not a guarantee, and uh, if we delay elements for one second, for example, we will have enough time for A be published, and then we will get uh, something from the Flux2. Let's see this. And as you can see, we have A, D. So we were expecting B, C, and we got A, D. So there is no way to guarantee that we will get exactly this result but I will leave it for sake of simplicity. Let's execute again. Okay, so this is the combined latest operator, and I think that's enough for this class. Let's continue in the next one. Bye.